Good afternoon. This is the fourth installment of our Email for Beginners series. This is Outlook talking about contacts. So I'm already logged into my Outlook account. Um, if you aren't sure how to do that, you'll go to Outlook.com and put in your username and password. And on the left hand side, underneath the inbox, um, will be your people, as it's called. So this will be your contact list. You'll open up here to all contacts where you can see um, contacts that you may already have added, or you'll see a red button that says you need to create a new contact, a contact list, or create a new group. So if you don't have any contacts, you can go ahead and start there. You also have add to favorites, edit, delete, and add to list as options in the upper toolbar. And so you may see some lists here or you may not. Now on the right hand side is the manage option which will let you import contacts from your other email um, accounts you may have or export so you can add these contacts to another non-Outlook account. Now on the left hand side in the menu here, there are folders that can drop down. You'll see my contacts has all contacts, all contact lists, a deleted section. Um, so we're starting in all contacts. Now you can select all of your contacts by choosing the check mark bubble to the left of all contacts and email all those people if you need to or delete all of those accounts if they are old. And then you have a sort option that will let you change how the contacts are sorted in your contact list. So you can do like first name, by the company, by the work city, um, or by recently added. And since all of my current contacts all start with the same first letter and don't have a first or last name in the field, it'll just stay the way it looks. On the left, we're going to go to all contact lists. You can take a look at those. Contact lists are the equivalent of labels in your Gmail account. These will be like auto filtered um, folders, essentially lists of contacts that need to get specific emails or are part of specific groups. And you need to email those people all at once. In the deleted section will be deleted contacts. So if you accidentally delete one, you can go in and restore it. And then below that, you'll have folders that you can add to do more organization uh, for your contact list. And then below that will be the groups section. Now in my all contacts, um, I'm looking at a contact here on the right hand side. It does not have a username or first name. And if you tap send email, it will open up a blank email for you to start where, let me move my screen down a little bit. It will autofill the email into the to section so that way you can start emailing that person. There we go. And then you'll have some headers for contact. Um, so this will just be the contact information files, so any correspondence that that person has sent um, to you, any emails that you have with you and that person, and then a section for um, linking their LinkedIn profile. And then you'll see in their email, it'll let you copy the email address if you need to paste it somewhere. If you have more information in this contact, um, you will see that copy option for like phone numbers and other email addresses as well. And then below you'll have any notes you have about that particular contact. Um, so who they are, what they do, where they're from. And then on the right hand side, you'll have an edit contact option. So here you can fill in as much information as you need. Um, so you see I have the first and last name and the profile picture for this contact blank, but I have their email in. Um, and if that's all you have, then that's perfectly fine. And then if I look here under add more, it'll give me a pop-up menu 
and then some categories to choose from. So there's email address if you need to add another one, um, their chat if they need uh, more than one name, more than one phone number, more than one address, you can add all that information in here as you want. And so I don't have anything to add to this particular contact just yet. And so you'll see I can just go through here and click and then see the, as much information on the right hand side for each contact. And you'll have pretty much the same options for every email. Now if you want to create a new contact or a new contact list or a new group, you'll go to the new contact button. And I'm creating a new contact from scratch. And here I can put like I said before, as much information as you want or that you have about that particular contact. So I'm going to fill this out here. Thinking of fake names is kind of difficult sometimes. And making up fake numbers. If I ever put your number in here, my bad. <laughs> Let me know. I'll take it out. Or your email. I'm trying to make them up as I go, but there's a chance with so many billions of people in the world, maybe someone does have that email or that phone number. I hope not. So I'm adding in a company here um, that I might have a business card for and want to put that as a contact in my email. And I'm going to add into the notes what this particular sales associate quoted to me for a tent I might be looking for because maybe I'm hosting a party. I don't have enough friends to fill a uh, weirdly shaped tent like that and 450 for six hours seems a little bit like a ripoff but you know we don't have to contact him that's okay. Now if I want to add in more information as in I want to add in let's see a business number for this person, I can go ahead and do that. So that way I have all of that information under this one. one contact for this one person. And then I will create it. And it's that simple. Now instead of doing that, if you needed to import all of your contacts, say from your Gmail, this is where you'll want to export from your Gmail, then import it to your Outlook by clicking that manage icon in the upper right hand corner. Or if you only have a few contacts, you can create them one by one. Now, unlike in Gmail, I didn't find a way to add in multiple email accounts all at once. Um, so you would have to do it manually. Now, if I wanted to add this email to favorites, edit it, delete it, add it to a list, um, I can do that as well. Now back in my all contacts list, um, if I'm looking for that particular one I just added, I have it sorted by first name alphabetical. So there's that contact at the bottom. And since it's for my birthday party planning committee I'm doing, I can add that contact to the list. So that way I have all those vendors together in one contact list. As you see here, if I want to correspond with all of them all at the same time. So this saves me a little bit of time of having to look each of these people up individually by adding them to my email. I can just create a list for them, send them an email, and then save myself some time. Um, there are a couple things you can do once the email's here in the to field. You can delete that list by clicking the X. If you click on the name of it, you'll see it says see, e send email. You're already doing that. But you can also schedule a meeting. Or you can add extra contacts to it, but there's also an option to expand the list so you can see who's in that list in case someone needs to be taken out in the email portion. So you'll see I have the four contacts that were part of that list. And if I want to CC or BCC anyone, I can do that or add any more contacts. Um, you can use what's in the suggested um, pop-up if you have that turned on in your settings. Um, or you can just type in that person's email um, if you don't see them there. Or you can click on the CC and to 
buttons to pull up your contact list to add those recipients to those fields. And so this will show your whole contacts list where you can pick the list or the um, other contacts you need to add. And then you'll just click on their names and they'll show up in that section and then you'll save it. So you'll see it auto filled it in for me. And I didn't have to type any of those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight emails. So we're doing pretty good. Now I'm filling out the information I need to fill out, my subject, and then I can start typing in the body of my email. I can attach files that'll be um, sent to all these people. I can upload them from my computer or I can use some of the suggested ones. Um, I don't know why these are here, but they're suggested so I'm just going to go ahead and add them. And then they'll all see the attachments. And then I'm going to discard because all of these emails are fake and, well, all of the top ones are fake and I'll get a lot of rejection emails. Now in the more menu at the top you do have the option to set the importance if it's something if you're contacting a list of people and it's urgent you can set the importance um, put in your signature anything you need to do to save you some time sending it to all of these people. So I'm going to discard Yes, it's okay if it's discarded. I'll go back to my email. So some of the emails in my um, birthday planning committee, if I need to add more people, I can click the edit option and add those people or remove them. If this person has a new email address or something, I'd have to remove them here and then add a new one uh, or add that new updated contact into the planning committee list or if I need to add a description to this list about what it's for so any information about who these people are I can fill out that information too. Now some of these contacts in this list as well I have deleted as contacts but since those people are still on my list it'll still send them an email they're just not part of my contact list. So I'm going to restore those contacts just by selecting the three I needed, clicking restore on the right hand side, and then it'll put them in by alphabetical order. But since they were newish contacts I've added recently, it'll put them at the top when I sort my contact list by recently added. And so if I click here, you'll see that all the information I had put in previously is still there for those people. I think that's all there is to it. Okay, let's go over what we talked about today in Outlook Contacts Email for Beginners. We opened up our Outlook account and then on the left hand side went to our People section where we looked at our contact list. We created a new contact and filled in all of the information and then we added that contact to a contact list and in that contact list we made some more changes and looked at how to add email addresses and remove and then we restored some deleted emails that were in our deleted folder thanks for joining me today see you next time and we want to thank you for watching follow us to find more videos just like this our page on facebook is mcpl360 we're here every tuesday wednesday and friday and if you miss us on facebook you'll still find these same videos on our youtube channel at MCPL Mo. Find our consumer technology playlist. Have a good day.